Hey nerds, welcome back to Nerd Matter 3D. Today we're going to be taking a look at a mod that we purchased for the A1 Mini. And that's going to be this BMCU multicolor unit, AMS light alternative, that we got from AliExpress. For a fraction of the price of the Bamboo Lab AMS, we're going to try it out for you today and let you know if we think it is worth it. The first thing that we have to do is install these things. Next, we are only provided with one, I guess somewhat long, PTFE tube. We will have to cut this into four small portions and four longer portions to feed into both sides of the unit. If you happen to get one of these, I would definitely recommend picking up some extra PTFE tube because depending on your setup, this might not be enough for you. Okay, now that we've got our four short pieces and four long pieces cut, we're going to go ahead and feed them into the unit. The four short pieces go on the bottom here that if you can kind of see is labeled one, two, three, and four. This is where the filament will feed into the unit. The other four pieces will plug into the top here. You may have noticed that we do not actually have a mount for this to put on top of the A1 Mini. We are currently printing one now, but for the purposes of this video, we will just kind of hold it off to the side just to make sure that it's working. Also when screwing in these adapters, the top ones move and therefore they were a little harder to get in threaded correctly. So make sure that you have not cross threaded any of them when you thread them in. So honestly, there's not a whole lot more to it. You're going to take the included cable and plug that into the back of the unit over here and then plug the other side into the AMS slot on the bottom of the mini. So we'll go ahead and remove the tubing that we have here. So you'll feed the four ends of the tube from the unit into the top of the A1 Mini up here. Make sure you get them all the way in. So we don't actually have everything that we need in order to do this, but we're gonna try and make it work anyways. To do that, typically you would have a container back behind that you can feed the four spools of filament into the device. What we have is two spool holders on the mini, a side mounted one and a top mounted one. And we have a filament dryer that can hold two spools while printing. So I'm gonna set this all up in a jerry-rigged kind of fashion, and then we will get this turned on and see if it works. Don't at me in the comments, guys. I know that this is an unorthodox and unideal setup, but we're just gonna try and make it work. Okay, so now moment of truth. We should be able to go over to filament and we see the multicolor unit. So we will edit these. Okay, now we just gotta load up a multicolor print and send it to the printer. Remember when I told you to make sure all of the tubes are in correctly? Make sure you get them all the way in. That's what happens when you don't. Okay, so that was the mod that we added to our A1 Mini. As you can see, it did a great job switching between colors and printing the multicolor Benchy. We got a mess of poop over here because I don't have my poop bin. And we're obviously definitely going to need to come up with a more permanent configuration for this. As you probably saw, there was a mishap when the yellow was loading where the tube popped out and yellow filament got 
everywhere. So again, make sure your tubes are in nice and tight. Even though we had this set up in the unconventional manner, it did fine. I don't think that we had any issues as a result of that. So would I recommend it? Yes, comma. Uh, there are definitely some caveats. Number one being, and this is very important, that in order for this to work, your A1 Mini has to stay on version 1.05. So you can't update past that. That's the only way that this is going to continue to work. Caveat number two, you obviously have to figure out some sort of way to do this filament management. We're probably going to end up printing some additional SCADA shelves and mounting the spools of filament behind the AMS. It's up to you whether you think those caveats are worth the lower price. I think this cost about 130 versus the 280 that you can get the AMS lights on the Bamboo website, or obviously even more if you're getting an AMS or AMS2 Pro. I don't remember how much those cost, but I'll put the prices up on the screen here. Other than that, yeah, it worked great. We had no problems and now our Mini can print multicolor. Quick update, we 3D printed a little bracket so that it can mount right here on the back where the spool holder goes. Let me know in the comments if you would try this or if you have any other mods that you think that we should try out. Until next time, stay nerdy.